Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Planetside 2 How To. My name is Romos, and today we will be covering the Nanite Systems Harasser. This is a three person quick transport vehicle available to all three factions at the cost of 150 nanites. It is crewed by a driver, gunner, and for those of us with a death wish, a rumble seat capable of transporting max suits. It is the fastest land vehicle with a top speed of 129 kilometers an hour with a Racer 3 chassis, and it comes equipped with a turbo booster. The turbo booster is great for launching yourself off of bumps in the terrain to avoid obstacles or enemies Dukes of Hazard style. If you launch unevenly, you can correct your attitude using the A and D keys to roll your harasser in midair. Unlike the turbo available in the Flash, the harasser turbo cannot provide speed where momentum does not already exist. If you get moving first, however, the harasser can climb slopes way steeper than should be possible. Along with the turbo booster, the harasser makes great use of the handbrake. It is activated by pressing or holding the spacebar and allowing for some pretty gnarly fishtailing evasive maneuvers. You can also use the handbrake for changing directions quickly or handling a sharp corner at high speeds. For armament, the harasser it comes equipped standard with the G20 Basilisk, an all-around decent weapon. If you spend station cash or certs, you will have the opportunity to use the M12 Cobalt, M60G Bulldog, M40 Fury, and the E540 Halberd. For anti-aircraft duties, you can choose between the G30 Walker and the G40F Ranger. You can also have access to the G20 Vulcan, P525 Marauder, or the equivalent new conglomerate and Vanu weaponry. Despite its varied arsenal of weapons, the harasser is not very tough and won't stand up to punishment for very long. You can equip composite armor to give it a couple extra seconds in combat, but it's best to just avoid direct confrontation with other vehicles whenever possible. As the name implies, you should harass the enemy vehicle before making your escape. With the speed and agility of the harasser, you can always come back in a couple of seconds from a different angle and finish them off. If you kit it out for anti-infantry duties, you can use the turbo booster to get into unusual areas such as the tops of walls and into the middle of bases. My suggested loadouts for the harasser are an anti-armor weapon such as the Halberd, Enforcer, or Sauron, Racer Chassis, Stealth Module, and Fire Suppression for that little extra health when you're running from danger. For anti-infantry, I use Composite Armor, Surger Chassis for easier climbing of rough and uneven terrain, and once again, fire suppression. Because you're far more likely to be shot by rocket-happy heavy assaults, the composite armor gives you that little extra durability you need to make your escape. Don't hesitate to use your vehicle as a weapon itself. Running over a few enemy troops works just as well as shooting them. For extra firepower, don't hesitate to grab a bunny in a max suit and drive backwards into combat. The pounders make good work of both infantry and vehicles, so they're a good choice for this. If the area is swarming with aircraft, a burster max in the trunk can make a great deterrent. The harasser is not a frontline fighting vehicle. It's a support unit meant to give your primary fighters, like infantry or tanks, an edge. On an open field, the harasser can whiz in and demolish entrenched infantry and their AMS in quick order, or split the firepower of a tank zerg, or just clean up damaged vehicles that make it to cover. Inside a base, the harasser performs more like a tank. The powerful weaponry is more than enough to liquefy squishy infantry fighting over a capture point, while its maneuverability allows it to move around with relative ease. Here are a few tips to remember when driving your harasser. Speed is life. If you're sitting still, you are a far easier target to hit. By the time that first missile hits you, the second or third aren't far behind and escape isn't guaranteed. Never attack head-on. Tanks and infantry spend most of their time moving forward, so attacking them head-on robs you of your primary weapon, surprise. If they can see you coming, they can shoot you. Always know your way out. If you're going to dive headfirst into an engagement, always know the way out. You might have lost out on a couple of kills by escaping, but you can always repair and head right back into combat. The harasser is a potent support vehicle with the potential to turn the tide of a battle provided it's used correctly. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave a message below or find me on Twitter. I am P S E U D O N E O. Thanks for watching, and this is Romas reminding you to stay frosty.